When we take some time to observe the world around us, we see an incredible diversity of life forms, each of which has adapted in its own unique way to thrive in its environment. From the smallest microscopic organisms, which are too small for the human eye to see, to the giant and long extinct dinosaurs that once roamed the Earth, the sheer diversity of life on our planet is nothing short of astonishing. Now, what is truly remarkable is that every living being, no matter how big or small, shares one common need – energy. In most of the Earth's ecosystems, there's a central source of all this life-sustaining energy is our sun. Plants, for instance, have a remarkable ability to harness this solar energy through a process called photosynthesis. Now, you might wonder, how do animals, including humans, tap into this solar-derived energy? Well, it's a bit like a chain reaction. When we consume plants or other animals, we're essentially taking in the stored solar energy from the sun. It's transferred from one organism to another, creating a web of interconnected life. This intricate dance of energy sustains the balance of life on Earth. It's why we find such a diverse range of species, each finely tuned to its specific habitat and way of life. Therefore, directly or indirectly, every species on Earth receives energy from nature. However, among Earth's inhabitants, humans possess a unique gift – intelligence. This intelligence empowers us not only to adapt to our environment, but also to manipulate it in ways that allow us to extract and use more energy than any other species on our planet. Well, since the universe is infinitely large, the possibility of other life forms in the universe is very large. This notion sparks the imagination and inspires us to consider the possibility of an extraordinary diversity of life beyond our home planet. In fact, it is conceivable that other civilizations in the universe, like ours, have exploited their environment in inventive ways. They may have a level of intelligence and technical skills that is higher than our level. These advanced civilizations may excel at extracting and using natural energy sources in ways that surpass even our most sophisticated methods. Considering this, in 1964, Russian astrophysicist Nikolai Kardashev introduced an interesting concept known as the Kardashev scale. This scale provides a way to classify civilizations based on how well they use energy. Think of it as a tool to measure a civilization's ability to use and control the energy available in its environment. It ranges from Type 0, a civilization limited to their home planet's resources, to Type 4, a civilization harnessing the energy of an entire galaxy. We, as humanity, are currently hovering around Type 0.7, indicating that we're on the cusp of becoming a Type 1 civilization capable of harnessing the energy of an entire planet. But a question arises here. If the universe is infinite, then why is there not a Kardashev scale with an infinite number of civilizations? Since we do not yet fully understand the universe, there are many mysteries yet to be unraveled. Therefore, there is a possibility that civilization may exist beyond the Kardashev scale. Scientists believe that there are likely many civilizations in the universe that surpass even the highest levels on the Kardashev scale. They speculate that the most advanced civilization, sometimes referred to as a type infinite civilization, has potentially discovered a source of limitless energy. Well, all that I have told you may be real, and it may be that some alien civilizations have already reached these heights of technological advancement. When we talk about the universe being infinite, we're venturing into a territory that goes beyond what we can easily observe or experience in our everyday lives. In our day-to-day -day experiences, we're used to dealing with things that have limits. A road that eventually ends, a container that can only hold so much, a book with a finite number of pages. But when we apply this same idea to the universe itself, it leads to some profound and even puzzling questions. Here's where it gets truly mind-boggling. If the universe is infinite, with infinite opportunities for life to arise, then the number of civilizations should also be infinite. 
It's akin to an unimaginably vast tapestry, with each civilization representing a unique thread, weaving its own story of existence. The diversity, both in form and achievement, would be staggering. Imagine a civilization so advanced that it could harness the energy of the entire infinite universe. This civilization will be beyond anything we can currently understand. They will have the ability to harness the unlimited energy of the universe, using it for their needs and aspirations. We're accustomed to thinking about civilizations in terms of finite scales from type zero like us, confined to our planet to type four, harnessing the energy of an entire galaxy. Kardashev believed a Type IV civilization was too advanced and didn't go beyond Type III on his scale. He thought that surely this would be the extent of any species' ability. Many think so, but a few believe there is a further level that could be achieved. Well, energy resources are limited at every level of civilization, and as the level of civilization increases, the energy requirements of the civilization also increase. With the help of our current knowledge about the universe, we can contemplate the energy sources that might be available to advance civilizations for their development. It's also possible that there are unknown energy resources, and we may not yet have the means to harness them. Moreover, civilizations beyond the Kardashev scale may have already explored these unknown energy sources. And scientists believe that the most advanced civilization in our universe may have found this infinite source of energy. Imagine a sea of energy that exists in the very fabric of space itself, even in the emptiest corners of the universe. This is what scientists call zero-point energy. It's a mind-boggling concept rooted in the strange rules of quantum mechanics the science that describes how the tiniest particles in the universe behave. In our everyday world, we're familiar with energy sources like electricity from power plants or the heat from the sun. But zero-point energy is different. It's like a hidden reservoir of energy that's always present, even in the quietest and coldest spaces in the cosmos. Now, here's the tricky part. Tapping into this energy. Imagine if we could find a way to access and convert this seemingly infinite reservoir of energy. It's like discovering a wellspring of power that doesn't run dry. This is what scientists speculate an advanced civilization might be capable of. Think about it like this. If we could figure out how to use zero-point energy, it would revolutionize how we power our world. We could potentially have energy sources that never run out, making fossil fuels and even traditional renewables seem like ancient history. An advanced civilization with access to infinite energy sources would have unprecedented capabilities and would revolutionize every aspect of life. First, they can overcome energy shortages, ensuring uninterrupted and sustainable power supply for all endeavors. This will lead to a renaissance in transportation, allowing the development of ultra-efficient electric vehicles, possibly even powered by technologies we cannot currently understand. Imagine a civilization so technologically advanced that they have harnessed the power of the entire universe. This type infinite civilization may have developed the ability to manipulate space-time, traverse wormholes, or harness energy sources beyond our comprehension. In their quest for knowledge and exploration, they may have reached a point where they left our universe and went to another universe. One possible motive could be the pursuit of a higher plane of existence or a desire to explore other dimensions beyond our universe. Their understanding of the cosmos may have led them to believe that our universe is just one of many and they sought to transcend its boundaries. However, there is also the possibility that in the distant future, we humans may be the most intelligent civilization in the universe. But this is not without challenges. We must grapple with ethical considerations, ensure responsible use of newly found knowledge, and deal with potential risks. However, with careful management, our civilization has the potential to reach heights of intelligence that were once considered the province of science fiction. Imagine a future where our collective knowledge and technology reach levels beyond our current understanding. 
This progression could propel us to become the most intelligent beings in the universe. Well, the concept of an infinite universe challenges our intuitive understanding of reality. In the infinite expanse, the possibilities seem limitless, and one can expect an endless range of civilizations at different points on the Kardashev scale. However, the nature of infinity itself introduces contradictions and complexities that give rise to fascinating theoretical speculation.